right, good morning. So it's been uh, two and a half weeks, I think, since I planted. It took a week for us to get rain, so it's been about a week or so since I've got rain. Now you see some green here in the north plot. These are all weeds, um, I suspected. Obviously, I wasn't just going to get some beautiful farm-tilled crop. Um, but I do have clover starting. Let's see here. I got a shotgun on my back. Turkey hunting this morning. You can maybe see some stuff sprouting there. Again, mixed with a bunch of weeds. My whole plan here is uh, give this quite a while before I spray anything, before I mow anything. Um, some sections seem to be doing a little better than others. I've never done a large clover plot like this before, so can't tell you what's good, what's bad, normal life expectancies. Not life expectancies, I don't know why I said that. Uh, time germination expectancies. Um, but again, you can see some stuff plotting up along with some weeds. So. I guess uh, the other lesson learned is it doesn't matter how much you till and spray and spray and till again. The disc, you're just going to get some weeds. So obviously the thing here though is you hope that uh, your clover establishes well enough. You can come through, spray, kind of take out some of the broadleaf ones while not affecting your clover. And a bunch of baby little seeds, stuff down in there growing. Um, and mow to keep the big stuff down like this crap here. What's also kind of interesting is the areas that were mowed last year where there wasn't tall grasses, um, maybe there was some existing clover to begin with, that's part of it. Um, but I did disc it all up and spray it. That's where it seemed to have some of the best germination of clover here. Um, I guess, again, kind of makes, makes some sense that, uh, you know, the less weed competition there was there, it was more sort of native grasses, a little bit less work uh, for them to start to populate. But, you know, this is some of the best clover that I'm seeing and what actually was my sort of approach trail. And when I tell you don't plant anything on your approach trails when you're walking through, I said screw it, just planted the whole thing. Um, who knows? Now, one thing I will also share, give me a second to get to it, is uh, I got in here early this morning, I saw a bunch of green, I said no way have I got this much stuff going already. Um, there's some turkeys that didn't get me any luck this morning. I actually saw three bucks by the, with a group, another buck solo, and then two does all within like 30 yards. If you can see it over there is where my blind was set up. Here are my decoys. I was like, wait, this is way too much green. Um, I don't know if this is ragweed, goldenrod, whatever this is. But you can see this shit has come up with a vengeance. Um, and this is only one section. I would say not even a quarter of an acre of this south plot here. Um, and this is where I had some of the most heavy mowing that I did at the beginning of the series here uh, and raking. So this stuff, even with all the tilling, mowing, spraying, came back with a vengeance. Now I think some mowing will uh, cut it down, allow some of the clover to come through. Some of the swampy area still has some native grasses and I'm hoping that is uh, all I really need to do there. If it doesn't take completely everywhere, you know, I'm not going to cry about it. Um, do I want a perfect food plot? Of course. Do I realize that perfect food plots are pretty rare and really you're just hoping to get some good clover and uh, chicory established? Yeah. Do I, if I lose that whole section, will that suck and can I try again next year? Of course. Um, but, you know, you got what looks like small maples and shit growing back up again. So a bunch of stuff has decided that 
it wasn't going to die on me. Um, and I don't want to mow quite yet, even though a lot of this is, is, is totally ready and high enough to mow. I don't really want it to get established. And at the same time, um, I don't want to just start driving all over this with newly sprouted clover in certain spots. Um, again, you can see some great stuff growing in some spots. And I'm just surrounded by this crap. So, little uh, beginning update. More to come.